Portage Public Schools, in the meantime, will close for the remainder of the week as the community continues to recover from Tuesday's tornado. News 8's Demetria Sanders spoke with the superintendent about what it will take to reopen the district, and he joins us live in Portage with more on this. Demetrius? Well, it seems like the one behind me that caused the school closures. Right now, we are near the intersection of West and Edge and Shering, where I want to give you a closer look. You can see homes that are damaged, trees that are destroyed, and debris everywhere. Now, luckily, physical damage isn't a problem for Portage Public Schools, but the district says they also had their fair share of challenges caused by the tornado. Now, Superintendent Mark Belang says this includes buildings that lost electricity and phone and internet connections that went down due to a severed line. Fast forward to today, power is back on and B. Lang says that the district is mostly ready to go, but non-working phone lines and street closures are still causing some problems. Now, he says Portage Public Schools is evaluating the situation day by day. He hopes that class can resume as soon as possible, but he says that will only be done if it can be done safely. Our thoughts are with all those families and staff members who, whose homes were, were either lost or severely damaged and you know they're looking for alternate housing so definitely that comes into play uh, you know if we're able to open buildings because of lack of staff uh, you know the the impact on our students and the supports that we have to provide them so we you know we process all of that so that all comes into play now, B. Lang says it's too early to tell right now if this week's closures will cause the school year to be extended, but he says he hopes to avoid that situation. The district also says they will hope to offer extracurriculars and sports as long as the weather allows it. Live in Portage, Demetria Sanders, News 8.